The current circuit shown is 3.2 milliamps. Let's draw it. Current, we usually draw this direction. This is what we call conventional current. Why conventional? Because, long story short, once upon a time, people thought that positive charges were the charge carriers, and these are the ones that were flowing. So the positive charge carriers is moving down in that blue direction. Ah. So that's what we call conventional current. It's actually an incorrect idea because electrons are the ones that's moving. Anyway, let's continue the question. What are the direction of flow and the rate of flow of electrons through the resistor R? Hmm, this, I'm pretty sure this is a parser that has come out before. But oh well, if you find it, good for you if you've seen it before. Now we're looking for direction and rate of flow of electrons. Oh my my. Remember I said this is conventional current, so we as once upon a time scientists thought that the positive charges were moving, but there's no such thing. So it's supposed to be electrons which actually move in the other direction. These are all the negative charges moving. So moving from Y to X, electrons are moving there. So that is Y to X. A and B is out. Rate of flow of electrons per second. When you see current and you see rate, you should think of a defici def definition of current. So I is dQ dt. So real flow of charge per unit time, or you could simplify it, I guess, to Q over T. It's a simplified version of it. But we're trying to find rate of flow of electrons. What is this big Q? This Q is total charge. Why is there a total charge? Because there are n number of electrons that flow through in time t. Think of it this way. If there's a wire, there's many, many small electrons inside. All of them add up can be charged. Q lah. Okay, so n times E. E is the individual charge of electron. So if you're looking for rate of flow electrons, the hint is this, per second. So number per second equals to I over E. So... Number over T will be the current, 3.2 times 10 to the negative 3, divide by time. Do we know the time? Oh, why am I dividing my time? E. E, by the way, is a constant. You can find your data formula sheet or your calculator. Or if you memorize it, it's 1.6 times 10, negative 19 coulombs. So what do we have here? If we divide everything correctly, we should get about 2 times 10 to the 16 as our rate of flow of electrons per second. So I guess you could say electrons per second. That's why it's S negative 1 and not Coulomb per second or something like that. So the best choice will be C. That's your answer for this current circuit. So two things. Remember, conventional current is different from actual current. Expectation versus reality. And you have rate of flow. If you see the unit is second negative one, they're probably talking about electrons per second, not the charge per second. Okay, so not Q over T, it's N over T. Alright. Next video, if I see you, that will be the next question.